Hello, Kara from Karen Co Creative here. If you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and online business systems for coaches and one on one service providers. And of course, here on YouTube, we're going to be doing the DIY piece. So today I have a quick little tutorial showing you how to start a workflow or a email series or sequence in Flowdesk. So I'll take you over my shoulder and show you how to do that. All right. So I'll pull over my Flowdesk cam. When you go to start a new workflow, it's pretty simple. You just click this black button. You can start with a series, whether that's a nurture sequence, which is basically, you know, people might know you a little bit, but getting them to know you better. Welcome sequence, a little bit similar. Lead magnet delivery, just delivering your lead magnet makes it really easy. Sales sequence is going to be more oriented towards selling a product. The great thing about these templates in Flowdesk is they have a little bit of the copy, like guidance and framework in there. So if you haven't written your content yet, you can use what they have in order to get it out there. So simple lead magnet, we'll click that one. We'll go ahead and customize it. And so here we have your ad trigger. And so a subscriber is added to a segment and then you would choose your segment name. And so this is something you would set up on your form. So the action that happens when somebody subscribes to a form, they would get added to a segment. You wanna program that in the form section. So we can say add to book club. And then here, this is where we have who's sending it, the subject line, and you can add emojis there. Don't go too heavy on the emojis. It can affect your sendability. And the preview text sort of shows after the subject and that will help people just sort of pique their interest, give them a little tidbit of what's in the email so that they go ahead and they open it. So those are the sort of uh administrative details in order to edit the email you would click this you can switch to new layouts if you're in an old system so we'll do that and then here you can edit the image this is the logo and this is all very easy to use you can change the text any of that so this here this outline is basically created um, in flowdesk so you would just edit the content in here click to download so button the link, this is where you can attach a file if you're delivering the lead magnet. So that's where you would upload your PDF guide and then you can finish it. Connect to Instagram if you want your block to add. That's a really nice feature of Flowdesk that you can have your Instagram feed, makes it very visual and pretty. And you can make sure all this content is up to date. So really simple, you have the template in here and everything. So that would be your lead magnet um, you might, if you then have a nurture sequence to go with your lead magnet, you can go in here, add a condition or a time delay. So typically a time delay is what you would use. Time delay, wait a few days. So like three days, and then you would add your second email. So you can duplicate an existing email or create a new email. And then here you can select from, again, templates. So sort of browse, find one that you like that works for you. Sales welcome. So then again, edit your content. Once you're finished, you can then add another time delay, add another email. Conditions, you can actually set this up. That, so for instance, if you don't want them to get an email unless they've opened the previous one, you can, you can do this. you can make sure they opened up this, a freebie email before they move on to the next step. So you have a lot of options within these workflows. And the really great thing is it's available. There's only one pricing plan. It's available on all the tiers. So once you're finished, all you need to do is hit publish. Oh, sorry, because I didn't set this. I'm gonna delete that, delete this stage. So that way let me publish it. So you can go ahead and publish now, and then it's all set up. You've connected your, as long as your form is on your site or wherever people are going to be subscribing from, now it is live. When they submit the form, they're going to go through that sequence. So super simple, really love Flowdesk for this. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please remember to drop a like on the video and you can always subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future videos.